climate of Tamil Nadu. Once again, we are very happy to meet my dear children with a new topic, the climate of Tamil Nadu. Here will be distinction between the climate and the weather and the rainy season is divided into three and we will see what these three are the southwest monsoon northeast monsoon and cyclonic rainfall and then we will be also discussing the distribution of forest in tamil nadu the types of forests available in tamil nadu and finally the forest products let's gradually get into the topic let's first take the difference between climate and weather my dear children what is climate and what is weather the sum total of weather conditions over a large area for a long time is called climate whereas the state of atmosphere of a particular area in a short time is called the weather for example today if it is cloudy in your place it is we have to say the weather is cloudy but the general climate of Tamil Nadu is hot. Climate has got the duration of over 30 years, whereas the weather has got the duration of a single day. So the difference between weather and climate should be very clear to you. Unfortunately, many people interchangeably use the word. People say today's weather climate is fine. It's absolutely a wrong usage. Instead, we should say the weather is fine today. Fine, my dear children. Now, let's come to this different rainfall seasons in Tamil Nadu. Generally, Tamil Nadu has got a tropical hot climate. The sun comes twice vertically over Tamil Nadu and May is the hottest month. January is the coldest month. The rainy season of Tamil Nadu is divided into three. They are the southwest monsoon, northeast monsoon, and the cyclonic rainfall. The southwest monsoon occurs between June and September. During this southwest monsoon, Nilgiri, Kanyakumari, Salem, Erode and Coimbatore districts receive very good rainfall. And the next one, Northeast Monsoon. This Northeast Monsoon occurs between October and November. Mostly this Northeast Monsoon is closely associated with cyclonic rainfall because of the low pressure formation in the Bay of Bengal. Dear children, by the very word cyclonic rainfall, you can understand that because of the cyclone formation, the rainfall occurs. Particularly during this northeast monsoon and cyclonic rainfall, the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu and the interior parts of Tamil Nadu get abundant rain. Most of the rainfall received by Tamil Nadu is only from these two. And Kanyakumari alone benefits from both the southwest monsoon and the northeast monsoon. Physiography, nearness to sea and geographical location determine the overall climatic conditions of any region. Climate refers to the sum total of weather conditions and variations over a large area in a long period of time more than 30 years. Weather refers to the state of the atmosphere over an area at any particular point of time. The major climatic elements are temperature, pressure, wind, humidity, clouds and precipitation. Tamil Nadu has a tropical climate. Two factors namely the apparent position of the sun and the monsoonal rain bearing winds influence the climatic conditions of Tamil Nadu. 
The vertical rays of the sun fall on the state twice in a year. Though Tamil Nadu lies in the tropical region, the local weather conditions such as temperature, humidity, clouds and wind direction along with the wind speed change the climatic conditions to a great extent. This is the region of climatic variation that exhibits the influence of the coastal and the interior inland locations. Temperature of the state starts increasing in the second week of February and gradually increases in the months of March to June. The hottest part of the summer season is known as Agni Nakshatram, Star of Fire or Kattiri Vayil. The decrease of temperature is from the second week of June to the first week of October. The month of October is the season for the retreating or northeast monsoon. From then, the temperature starts to decrease up to the month of February. In Tamil Nadu, May is the hottest and January is the coldest month. Though this is the general situation, the overall climatic condition varies among mountainous regions, plateaus, coastal and interior plains. The relative humidity in the state is found to be high in winter season than in summer season. The average humidity of the air is about 68% in the month of May, whereas it is 82% in January. The rate of evaporation is more during the summer season than in the winter season. The state possesses thick rain-bearing clouds in the months of October, November and December. The rainy seasons of the state may be grouped into three. Southwest monsoon Northeast monsoon and cyclonic rainfall. Southwest monsoon. The southwest monsoon occurs between June and September. The districts that are benefited by this season are the Nilgiris, Kanyakumari, western parts of Coimbatore, Dharmapuri, and Salem. As the southwest monsoon starts its downpour of rain in the western guards, the western parts of Tamil Nadu receive about 150 centimeters of rainfall on an average. Most of the eastern and central parts of Tamil Nadu become the rain shadow region for this season. This occurs due to the southwesterly direction of monsoonal winds in the season. In general, the amount of rainfall of southwest monsoon decreases from west to east. The Nilgiris district receives about 70% of its annual rainfall, followed by the Salem and Erode districts. Kanyakumari district also receives sufficient amount of rainfall from this season. Northeast monsoon The northeast monsoon season occurs between October and December. The coastal and interior plains of Tamil Nadu are highly benefited by this rainy season. Normally, Northeast monsoonal rain is highly associated with the cyclonic formation. In this season, the amount of rainfall decreases from east to west. Excepting Kanyakumari, all other interior south and western parts of Tamil Nadu receive lesser rainfall. Coastal districts such as Chennai, Kadalur, Tiruvallur, 
காஞ்சிபுரம் விழுப்புரம் நாகப்பட்டினம் திருவாரூர் அண்ட் திருநெல்வேலி டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட்ஸ் ரிசீவ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி டு டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரெயின்ஃபால் திருச்சிராப்பள்ளி சேலம் அண்ட் ஈரோடு ரிசீவ்ஸ் அபவுட் ஒன் ஹண்ட்ரட் டு ஒன் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் ஃபிஃப்டி சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ரெயின்ஃபால் சைக்ளானிக் ரெயின்ஃபால் November is the month of cyclonic rainfall. The low pressure formations in the southern part of the Bay of Bengal intensifies. The cyclonic rainfall along the coastal districts of Tamil Nadu. An equal portion of rainfall is received from both the northeast monsoon and the cyclonic rainfall in the coastal districts of Tamil Nadu. on the basis of annual rainfall received the districts of tamil nadu can be grouped into five rainfall regions from the table given here it is clear that the coastal districts along with nilgiris fall under the very heavy rainfall region with an annual rainfall of more than 1400 millimeters among the districts kanyakumari is fortunate enough to receive rain from all the rainy seasons a very low amount of annual rainfall is received by the coimbatore and tirupur districts